yeah, why can't a little kid wear a monkey suit without getting like a racist remark like that? So, yeah, it's the whole racist things and the whole, yeah, basically the racism surrounding it is what's causing me to not want her to wear it. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome to today's video. I just want to put a quick disclaimer that the parts of today's video are coming from yesterday's vlog. There was just so much footage. I couldn't condense it all into one vlog. Let's it would have been heck of long. Anyways, with that said, I basically divided it into two parts because it just had so many footage. So I just had so much footage and it was actually really good stuff. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Um, just try to do my face really quick because baby was still sleeping and those girls are still... Those girls, they be sleeping. They be trying me. They, they To be fair... We did have a late night. We stayed up watching Once Upon a Time and yeah, we're just, we just tired. <laughs> I don't know, but the plan for today was to go to the beach. I don't want to say it out loud because sometimes, well, to be honest, I'm standing out in front of the mirror trying to get some natural light for y'all to get this vlog going. And I'm realizing that the clouds are looking kind of funny. Let me show it to you. That's not very promising weather f for the beach. It might be kind of fun. It might be kind of fun just to roll up at the beach because then I won't be, I won't have to deal with like the hot, hot heat on burning my skin outside there. So it might still be in the plans for today. I'm not sure. We're just going to uh, kind of just roll with it and see what happens and see where we get. I also need to go to the grocery store. Not that I need grocery. You guys saw I did a grocery haul recently. But I need to pick up just, it's always like the little things. Like I want to make, um, what did I want to make? Oh, I wanted to make curry chicken. <laughs> I wanted to make some curry chicken for you guys. Yeah, I wanted to make curry chicken. I'm feeling kind of, um, I'm feeling kind of spicy today. So I wanted to make some curry chicken and rice for the girls. I wanted to kind of be a surprise. So it's a surprise food for them because they love curry chicken and rice, okay? Actually, it's my favorite food too. So um, yeah, that's the plan. I don't know where I'm going to get the chicken from because honestly, I prefer to buy it from Costco. But... I might just roll down to the local grocery store and just pick up chicken there, which is probably what I'll end up doing anyway. So I am Zozo, you're gonna fall off the bed. Where where, where are you rolling to, ma'am? Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? You're gonna roll off the bed. Yes, you Michaela's twin. Are you McGillis twin? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Like a number one or something like that. This something is like, we have the book down here. Which but... where are you playing this from? Oh, Dad got the book up. Look, when can I see you again? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Dad brought the book up. He's like, you hey guys. So this just happened. Just took down that playpen. I was gonna put this away downstairs, oh. but the mat and the playpen, I want to store it somewhere because I will be using it shortly. I'm just not using it right now. And baby girl. Baby girl's on a mission to roll all around. It just gives her a lot more space to roll around. She's at that stage where she wants to roll around and just, you know, crawl. And I don't want to have to hold her 24-7. I was just upstairs cleaning with her. And I, it's just a lot to always carry her. And I can't get much done. So when she's able to get down and, you know, I could just leave her for a second and then just cook and this is the space right here it's literally like a space belonging to to nothing it's just a big open space because to the right over here is our formal sitting area the area that we have when we have guests over and i've got the, the playpen here that i took down from here because i'm gonna try to find a spot in the closet to put it temporarily until whatever whenever i need it i'll take it out and i'm trying to probably store my dock i just want to have this close because she does still nap in it but i don't need it out on the wing of the chair over there like i did all the time the dining area is over here and 
it's this is just basically like a hallway but it's a big enough space for a baby to crawl and enjoy you know herself and I don't know if you guys remember, but at one point we had like another chair here. I, that's the chair that I have in the corner of the nursery. I'm kind of glad it's gone for the time being. We might bring it down at some time, but honest, at some point. But at, right now it's not necessarily, it's not necessary. And I do love the open space where, you know, baby has a lot of room to move. And honestly, I could also move this ottoman just so she has even more space, but she doesn't need that right now. You guys, so I just got around to making myself some green juice and this is like authentic stuff. This has blueberries, half my scoop of protein powder and uh, banana and spinach. <laughs> How'd you like my green juice? That was good. How'd you like it, Trevor? It so good. It. Leave it alone, stop. Please, one more, like one more sip. I really love it. Can I have the whole thing? Oh, she'll have to sip. Be careful, baby. She so these bins are making their way downstairs. I'm gonna vacuum and clean up the front area here because the guy is expected to be the guy who's coming to check out the floors. Um, he needs to come in and take measurements and whatnot to give us a proper estimate as to how much it would cost to get our floors done. So um, yeah, we're gonna see how that goes. As, as you guys can see, some of the stuff that we're picking up that I'm emptying is from camp. And camp wasn't last week. It was the week before. But I just honestly had a bunch of this stuff kind of stashed right here. Trying to organize it just because there was just so much going on. And that last week after camp, we were basically just trying to recuperate so we could feel better. And then we were just kind of thrown into vehicle shopping all over again. And then... Um, in between that regular stuff continually happen where the kids are back at youth and the, we're back at church and the hubby's back at work and I'm trying to post and I wasn't feeling well and the kids were all sick so I'm just trying to get my life together so the house I'm telling you there's one thing to having the space in a house but there's another to uh hoard and pollute like not pollute it that's not the word but to like just fill it with a bunch of junk and that's what I don't want to do I hate clutter and I just want to have the house nice and organized Aaron is still trying to build this cubby that was the plan it was a mission I think not last week because he's actually trying to build me something in the laundry room first like a laundry room organizer but then this cubby is supposed to happen I was hoping it would get done this year I don't know if it's gonna get done uh, I'm not like I you know I mentioned doing what I want to get done but I know he works and I do feel bad like I don't want to pressure him to get stuff done but when this cubby is done it will be really really nice just it's not like the biggest space in the world but I'm hoping it could be in the shape of an L because if it's in the L if it's in the shape of an L um, it will maximize the space. We could have two cubbies that way and three that way, which it will be enough for five kids because ultimately that's what we would like to have, um, right? You guys know, obviously, because we have Zoe, it'd be nice to have another little baby, you know, so she can have a companion and not be an only child and be spoiled. If it's not God's will, it's not God's will, but I pray and hope it happens. Um, not that we're trying yet, don't. <laughs> but I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff what to do these kids are doing a yoga challenge over here look at them they're making the shape of a heart and zoe's in the middle eating her hat oh my she keeps on rolling in she keeps on rolling over here see oh yeah she that's her favorite thing she just loves to roll back and forth to reach what she wants i just gotta be careful this scares me because i don't want to fall in her head hi hi zozo bean Hello. See. How are you? 
Hi. Good girl. Hi. Hi, baby boo. <laughs> Don't put that on your face, please. Okay. Like a friend of mine, but she got it for her her little boy who used it. And then she's just parting with stuff and she kind of gave it to me in the mix. So I have, I've acquired this monkey suit. It's like a Halloween costume. Clearly that's not the time that we're not there yet. I got it and I know innocently, I'm just like, oh, it's so cute. But then I thought about it a little bit more and I'm like, you know what? I don't ever see myself really bringing Zoe to wear it just because of the connotation surrounding that. It's so sad. Yeah, why can't a little kid wear a monkey suit without getting like a racist remark like that? So, yeah, it's the whole racist things and the whole, yeah, basically the racism surrounding it is what's causing me to not want her to wear it. Comment down below if you understand what I mean and if you feel me on that. And I remember back in the day... Yeah, just hearing my mom's sister talk about um, just racism and the fact that people would compare black people to monkeys. When I heard it, I didn't think much of it because I, I couldn't relate and I didn't quite understand. But, hmm, I as I've grown, I totally understand where she was coming from. And it's kind of funny that, I mean, that was, I remember her saying that stuff, like telling us about it like 20 years ago. And yet it still, still remains, you know, a thing. So... That's kind of sad. Racism really sucks. Her feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you recording her? Oh, yeah. Baby. Oh, Hi, guys. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe. Subscribe. 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 <laughs>